Welcome to Hot Rod Magazine Drag Week 2022. It is going to be a fantastic five days of drag racing action. All starts here on Monday at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Everybody in this place thinks they have a shot to win and certainly thinks they have a shot to finish, but not everybody's going to make it. Official day one, Hot Rod Drag Week 2022. We're at Worldwide Technology Raceway in Madison, Illinois. Awesome track, used to be called Gateway. Uh, fun fact, the very first time I nuked the Hemi was right here in the burnout box. Dropped the valve, destroyed the whole thing. That's not gonna happen today. We got a blown burst panel and it burst. Just sitting here on the two-step, Finnegan thought the throttle was sticking open, but in reality, some kind of intake pressure. Uh, when it's super overboosts, it literally blows these expendable plates out. These are made out of thin sheet metal and at a, at a prescribed overboost, they literally blow out so that that pressure doesn't go through your motor and wreck, you know, rods, bearings, pistons, everything. So we had some kind of issue with, on the two-step, a ton of pressure blew this out, which once you're off of boost and it's working as vacuum, it feels like the throttle's cracked. So I had the throttle turn all the way down. He started up and went right to red line because this thing's letting in so much air. So we know it's, it's busted. What we're gonna do is put this thing in and try to stay off the two-step and just get a good run in because we're wasting time already. Are you guys making this out into a big deal? Or you just could have run up there and made the fence? <laughs> this dude blew the burst panel out sitting here on a two-step. In here? In right here. here, it didn't move. Right here. It didn't move. We're uh, we were so worried about the tires yesterday. Is yours fixed? That. I think that's on. Yeah. Did you make it go? 603. Oh, that's pretty good. Hell yeah. Dude. Enough for me, I'll turn it in. Hell yeah. Yeah, get out. Be smart, leave. Yeah. <laughs> for two days in a row, so I'll take that. Hell yeah, good work, man. Dude. All right. Sure. Hey, good luck. Yes. yes. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now ball end. Okay, so um, throttle's no longer sticking wide open. We've turned the okay. two-step off. Everything's right. great. None of our electric fans cool. are running right Thank now. Uh, so the right. engine's now getting hot. So that's the next thing we're gonna look at. All right. It's, it's drag week. It will find all your weaknesses. It will find everything you haven't prepared for. If you don't test before you show up, this is what happens. And it's not that we didn't want to test. We just couldn't. So we're testing now. What do you say? Uh, yeah, that was, he said, snap one of those in the passenger side and you'll be good. But we have the driver's like, side anyway. I told him that. Is the meter in there or is it out of here? The meter's next to me. Can you borrow that real quick? Yep, that's blown. Is there more than one? There's two, but I don't know what they do. One's a 50 and one's a 40. Yeah, that may be. Why don't I plug this in that side and we'll see if we get fan. Just turn the car on and you should have enough heat for fan. Okay. Don't run me over. Nope. Man down, man down. I <laughs> know, oh, dude. Yeah, here it goes. All right. So we're not getting the passenger fan on no matter what right now. Okay, so let me kill it. We'll put the old controller back in, try to find a fuse. We'll leave it. Just leave the controller in it. They're both good. So we made a lot of wholesale changes to the throttle system. We've turned off the two-step. We're gonna go get in line. Uh, this is an all-run session. We missed our earlier class call. So now everyone on the property can run. So we're trying to be first in line for that. That way, if the first pass doesn't go well, we can try to fix things and get back in line again before the lanes close at two o'clock. Right now it's almost 12. I know I've said this before, but let's go make our first pass. And here comes blasphemy. So Mike Finnegan, those of you that have been waiting and watching and hoping Mike Finnegan would make a run, he's gonna do it right now. And you better take us through kind of what all has happened with this car because my understanding is basically soup to not say change everything. 
Well, it's got a fresh engine in it. They've got a different injector combination. Actually, I think they tested the new one and went back to the old one. New supercharger. He's got a T56 in it now, base plated and such, rather than the G-Force that used to be in it. I think G-Force built this T56. He's got a different rear end gear in it and different tires. Other than that, other than that, it's going to be all good. This is the very first pass with the new equipment. Also note the new paint job on the car. A whole lot more metal flake going on on the roof. Absolutely. Hell yeah. So it's going to work. Sounds good. It yeah. seems good. It's going to rip. That car is a handful. That's a good start. Well, there's a big uh, pump of black smoke there as we got to the finish line, and the sound took a second to get back to us. It's maybe just clipping the rev limiter. It goes 956 Really a glorified shakedown, so that's a hell of a good run. I'd like to see under nine if we're going to leave. On that. So I'm wondering if Let's he see how he feels. How good he's going to get back here. Yeah, I just heard David screaming over the radio that Tony Angelo needs to go to the top of the track. Finnegan sucked there. I guess we're going to uh, dive up the return road. And it is the S10 truck that we saw earlier running at 660. That's really, really good, but it's also Great Tom job. Bailey in that whole 603 249 program that is leading. For Magnus Frost, the first run. The front end was up. The S10 truck that we saw earlier running is 660. That's really, really good, but it's also not really that whole 603 249 program. Sort of puts a dent in everything. What's up? Program, Let's it go. does, but it's, you know, we, we know this. We know this Kabuki dance. It is this race that the guy. Just, go ahead. All right, so first run, um, car spun out of the hole. Might have gone left. I don't know. You started going left a little bit. Spun out of the hole. Um, I short shifted the first three gears because that shift light wasn't on. So I finally looked down at the tack and I ran it all the way out of seven grand when I clicked it into fourth. And then 200 feet before the finish line, we were out of gear in fourth and on the rev limiter. Um, and when I came around the corner, the motor was off. And I'm like, oh God, we, we blew the burst panel again because it was on the rev limiter. So I yeah. tried to start it and tried to start it and it wouldn't go. So I'm like, all right, burst panel's still in there. And I eyeballed the screws on here and the throttle buddy was totally shut because the screws backed out. So yeah. we need to solve that problem. Our spark plug tubes are leaking. Um, just on your so side. So just on this side. So we need to clean the oil up and maybe wrap rags around them just enough to get one pass because there's enough time for us to get back in line and I can drive the car better, raise the rev limiter and maybe click it in fifth if I have to. I put it in fifth. You know. You just gotta do a bigger warm, these are brand new slicks and stuff. You didn't really get too deep in, that in the burnout. I'd like to see you do a little more there. And then, you know, that was really just a shakedown run. It's good. We'll take it, we'll take it. It nine, went all the way down. Four, whatever, went, went all the way down the track. Went all the way down. Did you pack the parachute already? I never used it. The track is really long. Okay. I'm trying to save us. Right, I love that. <laughs> Cause I was like, what is he doing, man? Like we got stuff to do. Oh, I was down there trying to get the car started. Alright, so passenger side of the motor, spark plugs are fine. Driver's side of the motor, I got oil coming out of every tube. And if you guys remember from a video we dropped on Sunday, my spark plug tubes didn't fit the inserts in the heads. So we borrowed a set of tubes from Freiberger without telling him. Now you know. Uh, owned out my inserts to his tubes. That didn't work during the test drive, just cruising around they were leaking. But when it went to Pete's and Newbern was there, they allegedly put my tubes in and dyno did. They never said it was leaking on the dyno, so I don't know what's going on. I'm about to make some phone calls. But uh, if I have to, I'll zip tie rags around these things to keep the oil from coming out onto the ground and the track, you know. 
but that doesn't stop the oil from getting into the spark plug, which kind of works. So. The motor is smoking out the pipe here. That's bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, Smells like gas, but... Let's uh, maybe not worry about getting in the lanes. Yeah. And find out why that's doing that. Here we go, drag me. Also, we didn't have reverse. What? You don't have it? We had it before. Let me try this again. Not that I want to start the car again. Yeah, of course. You know, insects, but... <laughs> Yeah, reverse is up, <laughs> dog. It's a DVD6. The motor's smoking like a chimney. We don't like that. That's oil. It's oil for sure. Yeah. Head gasket? Both of them? Spark plug tubes? Spark plug tubes, no. Vent valves, maybe. This thing happy to sit on the limiter? I don't know. Whatever it's doing on that side, it's doing on this side. Let me, uh, let me get out of this and get comfortable because we're not making another pass today. It's not the speech I wanted to give you, but um, we just fired it up to head to the lanes and it's smoking out of both pipes which means there's oil in the pipes. So then you gotta ask yourself, why is there oil in the combustion chamber, in the pipes? Well, we just looked at the data file and at the top of first gear, fuel pressure nosedived. At the top of second gear, it nosedived. It had virtually no fuel pressure in third and fourth gear because I believe our fuel pump's taking a crap and we've pretty much smoked the rings out of this thing with no fuel pressure or put a hole in the piston, whatever it is. It's, you know, it's, it's done, we're done. We're, there are no spare Hemi rings, pistons laying around. There's, uh, we're we're freaking out on day one. Yeah, you know, it's probably my fault for letting this thing sit for two years. There was no fuel in the tank, but the pump. I don't know. Maybe the pump's junk. Full tank of gas, no fuel pressure. We're done. All right. So here's how the day's gone so far. We made one pass in competition. It was not a good pass, but it did go all the way down the racetrack. We ran a 956 at 140, which is way off the pace of this car. This car normally will run an 856 at like 160, but as it turns out, we didn't have enough fuel in the tank because we're idiots. And by idiots, I mean me. And uh, we cooked the motor. But Jared Scott, who's a friend of mine and who I've done battle with over the years in the A-Gas class, destroyed his clutch and his bell housing in his car and he failed to make a pass uh, today before drag week was over. So he's out of competition, which means he didn't want to continue on. He can't win. He's, he's done. He has a perfectly good Hemi in front of that broken transmission and he's willing to sell it to me. So we might be buying another long block here and hanging out in the parking lot as long as it takes to swap it into my car and then drive to the next track, which would be awesome. And then we'll be damn sure there's enough fuel in the tank every pass we make. <laughs> well, apparently, Blasphemy did it, what it always does. No, I don't. It actually messed up the motor. So what we're gonna do is, we're in my shop here in New Baden, we're gonna go ahead and take the Gremlin to them. That's the Hemi that was actually in, in the Blasphemy at one time. So I gotta move some stuff over, we're gonna go drop it off to them, and let them have fun. So this is the original 535 that was in Blasphemy to start with. We just put this in David Freiberger's Hemi Grammy to get it back on the road again. And now we're about to take it apart to uh, save Blasphemy on Drag Week. What's the drag ship called? It changed names. Uh, Worldwide Technology yeah. Raceway in Madison, Illinois. So we're about to load this up, run it over there. They're going to rip the motor out of it. I'm assuming put the blower on this short block 
and uh, go finish drag week. Go finish drag week. Uh, full circle moment. Um, so after almost getting a motor from Jared, who's in our class, and that not working out, and then almost getting a motor from a guy who's having a pacemaker installed right now and who's under anesthesia, we've now gone full circle back to the motor that was originally in this car when it was built and which I just recently had rebuilt and give back to Freiburger. We're about to steal that out of his gremlin to put it back in this car. Um, oh, this is totally for cir full circle. Hell yeah. I blew that motor up here in 2018. And this time <laughs> Now it's rebuilt, it's back. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna make it, we're gonna get there tomorrow. We, we need to be at the next track by 2 p.m. tomorrow when they close the lane so we can make a pass. Question is, can we come back here tomorrow and put his car back together? God, this was a lot of work. A lot of work to get here. A lot of work to. Uh, Here he is, right? We we've been through the so same thing much the last work. Weeks. I know. Everyone here, everyone at Drag Week has been oh through. Oh my gosh. We are not special. Everybody busts their asses to get here. We feel the pain. Didn't even make it out of the parking lot. All right, it's day two of Drag Week. We are officially out, which sucks. Uh, and we. Tried every scenario to somehow stay in competition and solve it. Even to the, we went as far as ripping the Hemi out of Freiburger's Gremlin, which was sitting at Cotton Shop from the last roadkill shoot we had. But after ripping this apart and trying to put my parts on it, we realized not only do my parts not fit on this motor, but after talking to the engine builder, this engine cannot have any amount of boost put to it. It's gonna break. And so I've already broke my Hemi. I'm not gonna break Freiburger's Hemi. We're gonna regroup. So we're putting Freiburger's car back together, making sure this thing leaves in one piece, and then we're gonna crack mine open, look at it and see, can I overnight some parts to fix my engine? I know we're out of drag week, we, you know, we can't race competitively anymore, but can we fix that, get my car back together and at least have some fun? Hit some checkpoints, meet up with some people, you know, maybe make a pass back here on Friday, I don't know, but we're gonna try that. Shout out to the dudes at Wirecare for sponsoring this whole series of videos. So stick with us, we'll have more daily updates as we figure out what's possible here and keep having fun.